Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joe B and Matt, and look, 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 it's the cat. We decided to do the show a little early before we watch our last video, just so we could include the ever-loving cat. The ever-loving cat. Aren't you glad to see her? Look We're at her. We're all so glad to see her. Usually she's <laughs> hiding in the kitchen, but no, tonight... Nope. There she is. She's right here. We said, bang, here we are. That's why I'm glad we had this time together. <laughs> um, this week we watched some great movies and we had some great wine. I bucked all the way over to the bottom shelf for you guys, people. This week we re revisited some uh, Coco, uh, this one is Brownie Points. Brownie Points. And Coco Bond. Ooh. Oh, wonderful bottom shelf items. Brownie Points, what's better than coming home at the end of the day and having a few Brownie Points? Okay, you get home from school, you want brownies. What are you gonna do? You're watching cartoons, you want brownies. What are you gonna do? And Coco Bond, what a great red blend. Uh, seven ninety nine, something like that, and then when you get six of them, you get another ten or twenty percent off. Oh, you can't beat that! Food Lion. Whoa! But you got to bend all the way over. It's in a row. Bend workout. over. That's right. Heading over. Uh -huh. Yeah. Raised up posterior. Yeah. Sing it with me now. Heading over. Yeah. Raised up posterior. Six times, cause you got to get six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, or. Six of this and six of that. Whatever you want. They're both amazing. <laughs> Matt and I had uh, some loco tonight in our Wayward Pines mugs. We enjoyed them. Matt brought the, brought the mugs. I had some old promotional stuff from the TV station, and they had some Wayward Pines stuff. Wayward Pines was a good show. We enjoyed that. That got canceled Pines before its third much. season, I know. I'm sorry that it had to go, but we got some nice little ceramic uh, mugs here to uh, have our little locos in. So. He brought me some posters and everything. I love Matt brings me cool stuff. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Either that or goes in the dumpster. Bring it to Joby or go in the dumpster. So, hey, I choose Joby. Hey, Joby's dumpster. There we go. <laughs> we watched some great movies this week, everybody. I hope you all take the time to watch some of these great movies. They're there in the red box for you, people. Yep. I'm just previewing them and telling you about them. Um, last week we started with Pet Graveyard. Yeah. If you remember Pet Graveyard, I, I had been in the middle of, didn't get to finish. So I finished it. All right, so the movie didn't have anything to do with pets or a graveyard or a pet graveyard. But the, the, the kids, it was three of them, and they um, suffocated themselves to death, went and spoke to somebody that they loved that died on the other kind side. Kind of like a Flatliners ripoff with the Pet cemetery name, right. And then they came back too, and when they came back too, that bald cat would follow them around with the red eyes and the yellow eyes. It was kind of kind of neat, a hairless cat. And that was the uh, Grim Reaper's cat. So whenever you saw that cat, you knew the Grim Reaper was close behind. Oh, okay. So then the Grim Reaper killed everybody. So except for the one girl in the end, but I'm not going to ruin the end of that. She found the key. To not the a horror cat. movie where they have one girl survives to the very end. Surprise. <gasps> Imagine that. Wow. But she was a smart girl, so she came up with the key. Okay. Um, I watched some movies this week that um, I came into my possession they were of Richmond. It was very interesting. The first video had to do with all the different areas in Richmond and the history behind it and a lot of video and a lot of story. Cool. It was two videos. And then the second one had to do with entertainment. And what was interesting was back in the day, you couldn't show but so much of your body and the bathing suits were unisex. So at Buckrow Beach, the people would go and they would rent bathing suits because it cost so much to buy a bathing suit because it was totally made out of wool and it weighed god knows how much the suit weighed more wet than you weighed wet wow <laughs> and then it got to where there were so many people at buck Row beach that the people were just coming off the beach taking off the suits and giving them to other people to rent out 
because there were so many people. They couldn't even dry and clean the suits. Wow. It was really interesting. There was a lot There was a lot more to okay. it than that. Don't just listen to that part of it. You should watch the whole thing. It was two discs long. I, I watched okay. it myself, and then I sat and watched it with my dad today. And it talked about uh, Forest Hill Park. Okay. And the park that used to be there, Matt. Did you know there used to be a roller coaster and all kinds of stuff no. in Forest Hill Park? It was a major theme park there, people. Wow. And then when they took all the major theme park down, it became where everybody went sleigh riding. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was... I, I had no idea. I was completely fascinated, everybody. Wow. Richmond has a lot of history. Yep. Very neat yep. to watch. All right, and uh, the movie of the week this week, I would have to say, is Escape Room. Um, really good movie. Um, the people go in. They don't really know that they're going into it. Um, they're in the escape room. They have to uh, find the way out. And it's like each one of the rooms in the escape room has to do with one of the characters. So, like, this guy... Um, this escape room pertains to him and the next person this escape room pertains to them but you don't realize it until you're going along and then the people start coming up with the answers to the puzzle and you find out because that puzzle pertains to them hmm. it was good escape room cool um, I watched one this week Benjamin that was a red box original. Okay. Did you see about all this? No, that? A no. red box original. Did that know um, such it a was, thing? It was a Bob Saget movie. Wow. Um, Benjamin, it, it was really funny. Bob Saget was the dad. Imagine that. He's always the dad. He's always the dad. So he, he, he tries to have an intervention for his son, which is Benjamin. And come to find out, God, I hate to spoil shit for you okay. guys. Okay, okay. But come to find out, Bob Saget is the one with the drug problem, and he's blaming <laughs> it on his kid to get all this intervention going on. It Surprise! was really cute. Really okay, cute. Cool. Benjamin. Okay. The story was really cute. Okay. you got to watch it all the way through. Um, another one I watched this week, um, but his second favorite, yeah. was An Affair to Die For. Okay. So the woman is a teacher. Uh, you kind of piece this together throughout the movie. It doesn't really answer the questions from the start. But the woman is a teacher, she's having an affair with her student, and her husband evidently finds out because he gets involved in catching them. Okay. But then when you get to the end, you think he's the mastermind behind it, but... Oh. All right. Surprise twist ending. All right. So, spoiler all right, alert. So, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler alert! <laughs> yeah. Uh, he is not the one that's controlling everything. It's somebody else. But I got, I don't want to tell you who okay. it is. You guys watch it to the end. You have to watch it to the very end to find out who the culprit is, who the mastermind. That was very restrained to you not to give away the end. Yeah, because I want you really bad. Very restrained. And okay. you won't even expect it when you see it coming. You, you're just right. like, oh, 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 oh. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh. Okay, so very thumbs up. Uh, you liked it? I loved it. Cool. Okay. I loved it. Watch An Affair to Die For. Uh, Matt and I watched Night Patrol tonight. It was very much like Airplane. Yeah. It was really funny. A lot of crazy humor. Yeah. We, oh my goodness, we really enjoyed it. It, it Matt, starred the, uh, the unknown comic who was known from the uh, gong show days. And Linda Blair was so in it. Funny. Pat Paulson, Billy Barty. So it was really, really so an old, funny. politically incorrect movie from the 1980s. Love the unknown comic, yeah. you guys. You see him without his bag on. Yeah. If everybody's old enough to remember who the unknown comic is, I was telling people about oh. it today and people didn't right. remember. And Andrew Dice Clay had a little tiny repeating role in that, yeah. too. And we were like going like... Oh, God, I can't remember his name. It's, uh, d d d d and I was thinking and Deuce. And I finally remembered. Yeah, right. That's right. I, Deuce Bigelow. Ford Fairlane or whatever it was. Yeah. Andrew Dice Clay was it. We in. finally Googled it till we found yeah. it, people. Had to. Had to. Sorry. Brain I watched some previews part. this week. Okay. You guys got to watch this one. Okay. And I keep talking about it. It's called The Intruder and it has Dennis Quaid yes. in it. Right. So he owns this house and, this, and, and he sells the house to this couple. But he keeps coming back and he doesn't go away. 
<laughs> he's always there. They wake up after they sell in the house, and he's cutting the grass. He's cutting the grass, which I'd be torn because if someone kept coming back to my house and cutting the grass, and I'd I be didn't going have like, to pay him. Uh, yay! Yay! He's dude. crazy, but he cuts my grass. So. Yay, dude! You want a biscuit? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can I get you a soda? Okay. <laughs> and I got a re-review searching. Which okay. had the, the guy from, it was Harold. From That's Harold right. And Kumar. Harold and Kumar, right, right. Yeah, right, right, I right, keep right, seeing right, the previews right. for these things, and I just keep, it just keeps reminding me yeah. to remind you guys to watch some that of the stuff. That was a good movie, yeah. That was really worth yeah. watching again. Okay. So I haven't watched The Intruder yet. I've only seen the introduction, uh, the, the, the preview of it, but re reviewing yeah. searching. Yeah. All right, so in the end, Pet Graveyard, I really liked it. Okay. You should watch it. Um, the Richmond tapes that spoke of the history of Richmond, you should watch those. Escape Room this week was uh, my number one movie. Okay. Um, Benjamin was, <laughs> it was pretty cute. If you just like to watch something that's monotonous and stupid, <laughs> and you like Bob Saget I, kind I of stuff. I want monotonous and stupid and Bob Saget. Yeah. I want that. Yeah. Give it to me. And, and, and A Fair to Die For, if you like some kind of mysterious drama, you're going to love that. My, my number one thing I need to say this week mm -hmm. is congratulations to Dawn. Yes. And her new job. Yes. We're all very excited for congratulations, Dawn Congratulations, Dawn Goodson, if on I your new job. If I had wine, I would drink it to her, but we drank it the all. The bottle's empty. Both of them. We so we'll them. just give you like a little, like, like this kind of deal. <laughs> Yay, Dawn! Yay. So excited! Congratulations! 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 Love it when good stuff happens. Back to, good to being, people. yeah, the <laughs> Yay! Okay. So y'all enjoy some movies. Enjoy some wine. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy yourself. And the cat being here. For once. Look at that. She is The cat out. is here. We wore the cat out. Yep. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next week. Yay. Bye. Oh, oh she bit shit. me. <laughs> Bye. Cat. <laughs> oh, my God. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. I can't see anything with these things. Okay. On. We can wear them the whole time. It's okay. <laughs>